Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 20th of November. PM Modi steps up attack on Congress in poll bound Rajasthan. New rescue plans raise hopes for trapped tunnel workers in India's Uttarkashi. And devotees in India and Nepal pray to Sun God as Chach Puja culminates. And now for all the details, ahead of the upcoming assembly elections in Rajasthan, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, while addressing a rally in Pali district on Monday, accused the opposition Congress party of corruption and appeasement politics, stating that dynasty politics is everything for them. PM Modi said the people of the state have experienced the impact of appeasement politics in the last five years of the Congress rule, due to which it has been dragged into conflicts. He further said Rajasthan will play a very big role in taking India to new heights in the 21st century. दुर्भाग्य से पिछले पांच साल राजस्थान में जो कांग्रेस सरकार रही उसने अपने लोगों को विकास में और पीछे धकेल दिया यहां की कांग्रेस सरकार के लिए भ्रष्टाचार से बड़ा कुछ भी नहीं है यहां की कांग्रेस के लिए परिवारवाद ही सब कुछ है Meanwhile, Congress President Malikarjun Karge took a jibe at PM Modi and accused him of dividing people on the basis of caste and religion. He said only the Congress brought revolution in India. The 200-member Rajasthan Assembly is scheduled to hold election on 25th of November and the counting of votes will be held on 3rd of December along with four other states. And rescue operations to save lives of 41 workers trapped in the Silkyara Tunnel in India's Uttarkashi entered the ninth day on Monday with agencies involved in the efforts adopting multiple approaches to reach the trapped men. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also held a telephonic conversation with Uttarakhand CM Pushka Singh Dhami and sought details about the ongoing operations. The tunnel is part of the Modi government's Char Dham All Weather Accessibility Project. International Tunneling and Underground Space Association President Arnold Dix also arrived at the site on Monday to aid in the rescue efforts. It's, look, it's looking good, but we have to decide whether it's good or it's a trap. Okay? Because this is look, it's looking very positive. That's why we've come here with all of the experts. I've got the best experts for this Himalayan geology here with me. I'm just one. We are rescuing those 41 men. And we are not letting anyone get hurt while they're doing it. But to do that, we must be very careful with what we do. And that's why we're all here. That's why we're all talking. Well, an official said the trapped workers have received vitamin C and medicines, including anti-depression tablets. The health department has set up a camp for health checkups near the site and kept 10 ambulances on standby. Authorities have not said what caused the tunnel to cave in, but the region is prone to landslides, earthquakes and floods. And moving on, thousands of people took part in a massive rally in Pakistan on Sunday in support of Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, condemning Israeli attack and inaction by OIC, the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, for not doing enough to protect Muslim Palestinians. Waving Palestinian flags and chanting, any friend of America is a traitor, they listened to speeches by members of jamaat e islami party, which also criticized the OIC. Gaza's Hamas-run government has said at least 13,000 Palestinians have been killed in Israeli bombardments since early October. Saudi Arabia last week hosted the joint Islamic Arab summit on Gaza, which urged the International Criminal Court to investigate war crimes that Israel is committing in the Palestinian territories. However, the J.I. in Lahore said that the meeting did not do enough to find solutions to protect people in Gaza. OIC के जलास में ये लोग हमास की लीडर को बुलाएंगे हमारे यकीन था इसराइल को दम की देंगे कि अगर 72 घंटों में आपने लड़ाई बंद नहीं की
تو ہمارا ایک قطرہ تیل کا ان ممالک کو نہیں ملے گا جو اسرائیل کا ساتھ دے رہے ہیں And as the winters are approaching, the Taliban's acting commerce minister, Haji Nuruddin Azizi, during a four-day visit to Islamabad this week, said that the thousands of Afghan citizens Pakistan is expelling are facing extremely harsh conditions. Earlier this month, Pakistan said that its move to expel thousands of undocumented Afghans was a response to the unwillingness of the Taliban-led administration to act against militants using Afghanistan to carry out attacks in Pakistan. Azizi said this is not a matter of 10 people or hundred people. This is a matter of 1.8 million people and requires immediate action. مشکلات بسیار زیاده را روبرو هستند مسائل دوای از یاد مسائل صحتشان است مسائل خوراکشان است مسائل زمستان است سردی است موضوعات بسیار زیاد پیش رو داریم و خصوصا به امارت خیلی چلنج بزرگ است well, Taliban has said that the security issues are a domestic matter for Islamabad and called on Pakistan to stop depredations. Afghan citizens returning to Afghanistan have said there are restrictions on the transfer of cash and property from Pakistan, where many had built businesses and homes for decades. Over 350,000 Afghans have returned, many in temporary shelters near the border. Well, Maldives' new president, Mohamed Moizu, who campaigned on altering his country's India First policy, has requested India to withdraw its military from the country, the president's office said in a statement over the weekend. Moizu won the presidential election in September, ousting Ibrahim Mohamed Soli in a runoff after promising to remove a small Indian military presence of some 75 personnel. India and China have been vying for influence in the region, with the coalition backing Moizu considered to be leaning more towards China. At his inauguration last Friday, Moizu said, I will ensure that this country has no foreign military presence on its soil. There was no immediate comment by India, but New Delhi has on several occasions denied allegations of any interference. And moving on, Bangladesh's Supreme Court on Sunday dismissed an appeal by the country's largest Islamic party seeking to overturn a 2013 ruling that barred it from participating in elections for violating the constitutional provision of secularism. A high court ruling 10 years ago had cancelled Bangladesh jamaat e islamis registration with the election commission thus stopping it from participating in elections or using party symbols. But it did not ban it from political participation. The top court's verdict comes as Bangladesh is set to hold its national election on 7th of January. The government of PM Sheikh Hasina, after coming to power in 2009, sought to try top leaders of jamaat e islami for their role in war crimes during the country's independence war. Some have been hanged or given life sentences since 2013. And Hindu devotees across India and Nepal converged at the banks of rivers and water bodies on Monday to offer prayers to the sun god on the final day of Chhat Puja. Take a look. Standing in knee-deep waters and rivers, ponds and other water bodies, thousands of Hindu devotees across India on Monday offered arg or oblation to the rising sun to mark the culmination of four-day-long Chhat Puja festival. Worshippers breaking their 36-hour-long nirjala or fast without water made religious offerings and prayers to the sun god, Lord Surya, and goddess Chati, followed by distribution of food offerings amongst each other. The festival is celebrated with great fervor in the Indian states of Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, and Jharkhand. अर्गा होता है तो उस दिन तो हम लोग निराजल रह के शाम को मीठा चावल खाते हैं गुड़ के साथ और फिर दूसरे दिन निराजल रहते हैं शाम को अर्गा दे शाम को शाम वाला जब अर्गा होता है तो शाम को अर्ग देते हैं फिर सुबह तीस चौथे दिन सुबह अर्गा देते हैं इसमें सब फल और बहुत साफ सफाई से काम किया जाता है Similar scenes were witnessed in neighboring Nepal with thousands converging at the banks of river Bagmati to perform the rituals. 
During Chhat Puja, which falls on the sixth day of Hindu month of Kartik, Sun God and Goddess Chhati are worshipped with people seeking blessings for the well-being, development and prosperity of their family and children. कतिबेला उग्र हुन्छन् कि हामी अर्ग देउ तीन दिनको व्रत हुन्छ यो हैन अनि यही हो हाम्रो यो नेम ठुलो भन्दाखेरिमा ठुलो हाम्रो पर्व तिहार हो छठ माई हो एकदम मस्त वेल दैट्स ऑल इन टुडेस एडिशन वी विल सी सेम टाइम टुमोरो गुड नाइट टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज़ बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया breaking news and views from india